What's up everyone? My name is Anish Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn Action Script 3.0 and some Flash. So up till now we studied about uh some X and Y position and uh how to change buttons using actually text using this dynamic buttons and uh, something about looping and also made the video on uh how to make a dynamic advertisement and also when you click here you can you'll be redirected redirected to your blog okay we also said about looping how to control looping using if else statements okay that's pretty much it and also this step button that steps every time so you can check out these videos so in this video we'll basically learn about add event listeners so let's create action 3.0 flash file and let's go to let's first of all create a rectangle let's choose an awesome color okay let's group it by pressing control g if you're on mac you can go to modify and then group it from here and uh, now you're going to make it to a uh, movie clip so now convert to symbol movie clip and just let's change this name to rectangle rec you're gonna change this instance name also to rec right from here from properties bar if you cannot see properties bar you can go to windows and select properties from here like this so okay now go to actions so we're gonna study about what add event listeners are and how to use them in your action script so first of all these are basically functions uh, so let's uh, create one so you create function by typing function if you don't know anything about functions in uh, flash or action script you can refer to my videos uh then type any function name func name any function name that you want two parentheses and some curly braces so this is a basically a basic function for add even listener so we're going to call this function by typing add event listener okay it's so it turned blue so this i wanted to show you this so if you write r capital it will not turn blue so this shows that uh, action script is basically case sensitive so add event listener and then two parentheses and between these we'll type two arguments the first will be mouse event see it turned blue so it it's telling us that it's right if it didn't turn blue so it's wrong probably dot click oh sorry click it's basically the value of mouse event and the f second argument is we're going to call this function which will be func name this is basically the name of the sorry about that this is basically the name of the function func name so what it will do as soon as we hit the mouse on this or we click using the mouse it will go to the function and uh, just do something which is written inside so any code written here will be um performed by this function so let's write something so let's write trace hello world let's put semicolon here and also a semicolon at the end of this function because we are calling this function okay let's press control enter to test the movie let's go to the output bar oh it's saying some error argument error argument oh argument error i think we did some mistake out there yeah we didn't provide the argument so that's why it's saying that it's it was showing this error let me show you once again the error it's saying the argument error the argument couldn't match so foolish mistake okay so we are going to provide an argument too 
it will be mouse event same as that you can type it e colon and you will see a bunch of data types and other things so events so this is mouse event so you can type it mouse event let's press enter and also you you will see that uh, it has imported some flash events mouse events files so it's okay so now it will work probably press control enter and hello world and every time you hit this uh, uh, our movie clip it will press it will say hello world so basically what's happening here let's see whenever we hit this blue box rectangle box this function is being uh, this is being called and it calls this function func name so it displays a bunch of codes which is written inside this curly braces you can uh, add your own code here basically so this was the you can also change uh, it's actually a good practice to change using this uh, instance name the instance name of our movie clip was REC so let's go to actions and type it REC dot so it's saying some instance name and its value so it will do the same hello world okay it's doing just the same so it's a good practice when you uh, do it with the help of an instance name because if there are around 10th uh, okay many instance name in one movie so it will be difficult so that's why you should uh, write your instance name dot okay you got it thanks for watching the video and uh, you can check out this cool snippet from my website it's uh, lettuceflash.blogspot.com uh, I've also provided this file and also all these files are being provided on my website uh, you can use it you can see the codes you can uh, just view it and uh, thank you very much for watching the video see you next time